What is up guys? I am VG Mike. Welcome to the game One Night Stand. Now this game is an interactive visual novel about, well, you know, one night stands. <laughs> now before we get into this game, let me say that I don't really condone one night stands. It's not my thing. It's not something that I do or anything. I'm obviously married and it's just not my kind of stuff. But the reason I wanted to play this game is because not only does it have good reviews and people said it's very original and cool, I think it has a really good lesson at, you know, I'm, I think it's going to have a really good lesson. I'm not really sure, guys. It looks like a very interesting game. That's why I downloaded it. Uh, anyway, guys, I'm just it may not be for kids. Uh, obviously, there's no nudity, so there's no nudity, but we're gonna try it out, guys. So let's get into it. I already like it. <laughs> the music. Ugh. My head. My stomach. I. I feel like. I don't know if we're gonna be playing as the boy or the girl in this one. I feel like crap. Last night, what happened? Drink, lots of drink happened. <laughs> you can't even, you can't even say the sentence right. Ah, what's that noise? Ooh, interesting guys. My phone, where's my phone? Come on, that's what we all say when we wake up. Where's my phone? That's what I do, guys. I always want to check and see what you guys are saying in the comments. It's always great. Where, what do I do? Oh, 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 we can look at things. I see. That's the whole That's the whole beauty of this interactive visual novel. This looks like a phone. Got it. Shh. Mate, what the hell happened to you last night? So we're playing. We're Gary. Or is that Gary talking to us? It's been a while since I've had an iPhone, guys. I have no idea, but thanks a lot for waking me up. I'm so mad at you. I got drunk, and I did all this reckless stuff, but I'm mad at you for not waking me up. Because you should have woke me up. Oh, my battery's dying. I've seen that many times. Crap, my phone's about to die. Better plug it in before the battery runs out. Nope, can't plug my phone into that. Or that. What is he, what is he doing? Oh, my phone charger has to be around here somewhere. Oh, we can see things. Oh, I see there's clothes on the ground. Oh, it's a condom wrapper. Okay. Wait, I don't recognize this bedside table. Oh, so we haven't realized it yet. Okay. This isn't my room. My clothes. They're all over the floor. Am I? I'm completely naked. <laughs> I'm completely naked. Um. Oh, God. <laughs> she looks like she's from Bob's Burgers. <laughs> oh. I guess I got lucky last night. Oh boy, good for you. This must be her room? I hope this is her room. But, who is she? Mm -hmm. Oh, so we're, one of, we're just like a sleazy guy, huh? Oh, all the girls were so pissed off. I can't believe you. I ditched my date so you could just bail on us all. Sounds like drunk me was up to no good last night. But it's all in good fun. I just had a few too many drinks. It doesn't matter what I did because, you know what? I am young and I'm just trying to live my life. Of course. Of course. That's what people say, right? So, all right. Um, hate to let my mates down, but I guess my mind must have been elsewhere. Are we British? I think we're British. Sorry, I honestly don't know what happened to me last night, but I guess what? I pulled. You're kidding me. Come on. This better have a good, a good like... Uh, meaning to it at the end because so far it's like not my thing. <laughs> that should shut him up. Or right, guess what I did? I did I mis misinterpret what he said just now? I don't know. Could she be one of the girls from last night that Gary was talking about? If she was, I don't know anything about her. I can't even remember her name. I know she has a very squiggly back. <laughs> I really, I really can't remember anything that happened last night. I don't even know where the hell I am right now. This hangover isn't helping. Mm -hmm. One drink and you're off betting women? You're gonna need a better excuse for ditching all of your mates than that. Gary doesn't believe me. He sounds pretty pissed off. Oh god, what happens when she wakes up, guys? If Gary's not going to take my word for it, I could take a sneaky picture. That would shut him up. That's bad. Don't take a photo! No, I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna stoop to that. You don't take photos of naked, drunk chicks. 
That's just, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't take a, a, a photo of anybody that's not aware that you're taking a photo of them, especially if they're naked. You know what I mean? Unless it's a joke on your friend or something. My phone's dead anyway. Oh no, what are we gonna do? We have no technology to our disposal, guys. Uh, well, we could just go back to sleep, right? <laughs> uh, get out of here or wake her up. You know, let's keep things interesting, guys, and wake her up. Because we've already gotten this far. I need answers and I need them now! Like Batman. Ah, uh, what the? What happened? Did she just throw the duffet over me? What is a duffet? I'm guessing that's a word for cover. I tried waking her up. She must have like... She's gone. Maybe she's a little freaked out about all this. I know I am. Still, I didn't really get a good look at her. Maybe she wants me to leave. I gotta say though, th this is a very cool and original game. I really like it a lot so far. And I think we're going to learn something good by the end of this, guys. So what can we explore here? Is there anything we can look at in here? No. Sorry about my mouse clicking. I know you guys can hear that and I'm really sorry, but I don't know how to get rid of that. And maybe I just need a new mouse, but I don't have one, so I hope you guys can deal with that. Uh, let's see this. This looks like her phone or slash wallet. This must be her wallet. I really shouldn't be looking through this, but then again, this might contain some uh, useful information about her. Just like who she is. I mean, we're just gonna see who she is. That's it. A driver's license, an ID card, something with her date of birth or something, her name at least. Yeah, we need to know if she's at least our age. Come on. Should I look her in her wallet? Oh, this is gonna be bad, guys, but it, let's be a little sneaky. Let's do it. Here goes nothing. Looks like an ID card. Her name is Robin. Okay. And she's 22 years old. Okay. It's a funny looking ID card, though. I wonder if it's legit. Probably not. 22 year old. That's younger than I expected. Older than I expected. It's about what I expected, if you want me to be honest, guys. She seemed about the age from what I could tell. The, that age, I guess. Okay. This is a bottle. Ah, I think we found this because of the hangover. Yes. Funny, I don't normally drink wine, especially red. I guess drunk me doesn't care what he's pouring in the tank. A Rahia Reserva? Sounds fancy. It's half empty. Oh crap, she's opening the door. Ah! <laughs> she's animated, guys! Oh, hey! Oh, she's not surprised at all. What's up, girl? Uh, are... Hey, I'm just gonna say hey, because that's what you say. You don't say hey, are you okay? Hey. Hey, baby. <laughs> Sorry about dashing out of the room like that. This is cool, guys. It's animated. I like that. I hope I didn't freak you out or anything. It's okay. I was just a little shocked when I was suddenly smothered by the dovet. The cover. Sorry, as soon as I woke up, I just really needed to dash to the bathroom. Not just like everyone. Uh, I'd rather not g uh, go into it if it's okay with you. Yeah, of course. This is awkward. It's getting really awkward. So have you been awake long? Would you like some eggs? <laughs> Not really, my phone woke me up. Oh, I wonder what that noise was. It woke me up too. Ah, sorry. Oh, don't worry about it. Oh, look at her put her hair back and everything. <laughs> She's kind of scaring me. <laughs> you know you shouldn't have spoiled me with that fancy bottle of wine. Fancy bottle of wine? Oh, that's not a fancy bottle of wine. No? Sorry to disappoint you. I save the fancy stuff for special occasions. Oh, we weren't we weren't a special occasion is what she's trying to say. I'll try not to take that as an insult. Exactly, guys. I don't normally drink uh, wine. Wine. Uh, we didn't drink that last night. That's just a bottle I keep by my bedside. Oh god, this girl drinks all the time. Wow. She's a party girl. I like to pour myself a glass when I read. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I judged too soon, guys. I was very wrong. Hmm, looks like I can't blame this hangover on the wine then. This is a little awkward. I should ask something. What is What time is it? What time is it? Oh, I already said that. Just coming up to 10 a.m. You, um, you don't look so good. Oh gosh, she's insulting us again. Are you feeling okay? Are you feeling okay? I mean, your your whole body's kind of doing this thing. I think you're having a seizure. Just, just maybe. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna need to stop making fun of that because I know it's just the style, and I actually like the style. I just can't help myself. All right, guys, 
You don't look too great. Are you feeling okay? Oh, I, I keep rereading things. What's wrong with me? Uh, I'm alright. I don't think we've shown any signs of feeling sick, so I'm alright. Thanks. Are you sure? Can I get you something? How about some wine? Um, coffee, because that's what I drink in the morning. A cup of coffee would help me shake this hangover. Nice, I'll go put the kettle on and see if we have some instant coffee in. Aw, oh, crap, she doesn't have a Keurig, guys! We, no Keurig in here! I don't want none of this crap coffee, guys! Okay, that went well. God. Can't be with this girl, she's gonna have... We're not gonna be with her, it's a one-night stand. That's the whole definition, right? But, you know, she doesn't have a Keurig. And, you know, we're spoiled like that. She seems... Nice, she seems nice. She seems nice. I'm still no closer to finding out what happened last night. Clearly that wine wasn't involved. Well, do we really need to know? We woke up in the bed together. I'm sure we didn't read bedtime stories to each other. I just not, I'm just, my, my guess is that we didn't do that. But you know what? I did say that she was a, she drunk a lot of wine all the time, but I was wrong about that too. Oh God, here's the condom wrapper. We should, we should definitely observe that. Ah, condom wrapper. Thank God we took some precautions last night. Well, that's one mystery wrapped up. Ah, uh, terrible pun. That really was bad. <laughs> um, close. Ah, uh, here's my jeans. There's a few odd stains on there. I reckon they're for they're good for another day or two. Yes. It's the way I always see it. I really need to find my boxers before I put them on, though. Um. Tissue? Oh, this flyer looks like it... <laughs> it's a flyer. Uh, looks like it's seen some better days. Uh, Monday Madness at the Paradox? What is that, concert? This must have been the bar we went to last night. But I don't think I've been to this bar before. It sounds very student studenty. This can't be the bar that I lost Gary and the others at. Oh, she's coming back in. Don't scare us. Please, girl. Oh, hey, how, how are you holding up, Robin? Hey, hey, Robin. How am I holding up? I have no idea. Uh, yeah. Fine. Great. Well, I hope this helps. What, what did we just knock over? Thanks, it smells good. Well, it's not Starbucks, but hopefully it'll help shift that hangover. Okay, I'll take your instant coffee, sure. It's delicious. I see you have your jeans there. Oh yeah, I th thought I'd pick them up. I see. We have nothing to talk about. You know why? Because this is why you shouldn't have one night stands because you don't know the person. And it's just completely awkward, guys. It's like fun, but it's like the consequences, that, the consequences that could come from it, it's just so not worth it. I sound like a parent, I know, but that's just where I'm at in life, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not a parent, by the way. I'm not trying to make you guys think that I'm a parent, but that's just how I am. This is my personality, guys. And you're probably thinking, then why are you playing the game? Because it looks interesting, guys, and I'm trying to learn things. Okay, this is probably not going to teach me anything I don't know. But you know what? If it's touching and I like this visual novel and has a good message, then I'm going to play it. I feel awkward again. Or it feels awkward again. Same thing. I should really ask her about last night. She must know something. So that was quite a night, huh? Yeah, it was alright. <laughs> There's This girl, man, she has a way of like talking and insulting the crap out of us without trying. By the way, thanks. Huh? Last night, I was feeling pretty down. What? See, here we go, guys. We're getting to the very emotional stuff that I'm looking for. I'd always feel brushed off the idea of meeting up with a stranger though a, or through a dating app. So we met through eHarmony, or Tinder. We have a Tinder account. <laughs> ah, that must be how we met. Ah, then having the, the guy bell on me the mid in the middle of the date. Oh, someone belled on her. Okay, I see. I see, guys. Huh? What an asshole. Sorry. I don't usually cuss, but I don't know. I don't feel like that's much of a cuss word, guys. Okay, I think we can assume that he, this guy wasn't me. Not yet, at least. I was about ready to jump into a taxi, go home, and shut myself in for days. I'm really glad you showed up. You bought me a drink, you listened to me, and it cheered me up. Still don't know if we did the right thing, guys. Just, I don't know. I guess the night turned around thanks to you. So she got stood up last night, okay. And I stepped in. Maybe this explains why I accidentally abandoned Gary and my friends last night. Even if I can't remember anything we talked about. Don't worry about it. Although I think I ended up abandoning my friends by accident. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay, they're just a little pissed with me this morning. They're probably like blowing up my phone and it's all dead. 
I didn't even realize you were there with friends. You didn't mention anything about them at all. Oh, because I didn't care. I was I was busy looking into your squiggly eyes. Really, I was in a bar with Gary and a couple of other people, I think. Huh? You think? Seems like you don't remember much of what happened last night. It turns out it was like all this special, like special moments, like an amazing thing that like we, we like spilled our guts out and she did the same thing to us. And like, we don't even remember any of it. Like we weren't even really being us because we were totally drunk. That's, that's going to go bad guys. But she's on to me. What should I say? Um, I remember parts. Well, then we'd be lying. I don't remember nothing because... But, oh, we can't lie, okay, guys? I'm being, I'm being, uh, Hank Hill right now, okay? And when I say that, I mean I'm just being good. I'm trying to be good. So not really. And it, it's, it's, it sucks to tell the truth sometimes, but you gotta say it. Not really, no. What, really? <laughs> oh, God, you must be pretty confused then. She keeps doing this. I'll fill you in on what I know. I hope you know something. There was only two of us, right? Uh, we met around 11 p.m. by the bar at Paradox. You had a few drinks, but you didn't seem too drunk. You bought me a drink, and we found a secluded spot to chat. We chatted for ages about being interrupted, even in, in a bar as loud as Paradox. At the end of the night, we both had quite a few drinks. Neither of us were in a state to make good decisions. Of course not. When the taxi arrived, we both jumped in, and I guess we ended up here. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's everything I can recall. I don't know anything that happened leading up to that, sorry. Oh no, it's fine. Thanks for helping me fill in the blanks. I appreciate it. Listen, about last night. Yeah, going out, meeting a total stranger. Yes, and bringing them here, home. This isn't something I normally do. In fact, I've never done this before. Robin's never had a one night stand before? Oh, you kidding me? I thought all the young the young cool kids were doing it. You you mean Robin's never done it before? What's wrong with her? Dear God. You know, I thought she was weird with her squiggly lines, but I could see why now, because she has these squiggly lines because she's never had a one night stand before. What's wrong with her? She's so uncool, guys. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. Don't take it seriously. I know some people do. I'm just joking, guys. Have you ever done anything like this before? It sounds like we have, and you know what? I hate to be a douchebag, but I think we are, so let's do it. This isn't my first time. Oh, that's kind of worrying. <laughs> she's like, you know, you know, I thought we were going to be maybe in a relationship, but you know, she's not new. She's not new to the one night stand thing, not the one night stand game. This isn't what it's about, girl. Sorry, your business is your business. We took precautions anyway, so we're probably fine. She's talking about being pregnant, of course. I thought as much. What is she doing? I guess what I'm trying to say is... I don't want this to be typical. I mean, you're still here. Uh, you didn't sneak out before I woke up or whilst I was out of the room. I don't know. She's trying to confess her love to us, guys. Clearly, you were nice to me last night, but part of me thought you'd want to leave as soon as you woke up. But you're still here. I mean, that in a good way, of course. She's happy that I'm still here? I guess I've managed to make a good impression, all things considered. Listen, we didn't really get to know each other that well last night. I ranted about my date life and troubles. I've talked enough about me. Tell me about you. Tell me something about you. Oh my god, a girl's never asked me about this before. Uh. I know this might sound strange, but if we get to know each other a little better, then maybe this could be different. Different? Like, maybe this doesn't have to be as weird as just two strangers hooking up. I don't know. Sure, I guess. But what should I tell Robin about myself? <laughs> oh god, guys, what should we say about ourselves? Should I talk about... Uh, my personality, because I kind of want to know. I it seems to us, it seems to me that I like we're like just like some womanizer or something. I don't know. Well, I guess I should start with. Ugh. Oh God, what's she doing? Huh? Sorry. Wait here. I'll be right back. She's gone. That was strange. She turned pale as soon as I opened my mouth. Oh God, guys, she's got like, 
Maybe she has morning sickness or she's just gonna throw up because she got drunk last night. <laughs> I don't really know guys, but this game is pretty darn interesting. I like that it's interactive, there's multiple endings, uh, and I think we're gonna learn something at the end of this guys. Uh, this has been about 20 something minutes guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. Do me a huge favor and let me know if you like this game. I know it's a little like a uh, little crazy and if you're young this might not be your thing. I totally understand. I really do. I don't mean to make you uncomfortable or nothing, but you know, this kind of stuff gets portrayed in movies and stuff like that. I think even young people, you know, that you know can understand. Man, not too young, but people should understand about this kind of stuff and like the consequences and stuff. I don't know. Like I, once again, I sound like a parrot, but I that's what I feel is the reason I'm playing this game. Um, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But anyway, if you like this episode, do me a huge favor, leave a like, tell me what you think about this. Honestly, this game is really original, and I like that. So I'm gonna definitely keep playing. I hope you guys want to watch more. If this is the first video you're watching from me, please subscribe. It would help me out a whole lot, and I will see you scrubs in the next video of whatever I'm doing. Bye, guys! You get unlimited money, but you can't have kids. Ah, crap. There's so many kids out there that don't have